gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Loot Gaming here on Pastiche of Skin. Look at this, we have Loot Gaming, and it has finally arrived. Very, very late. Mostly because of actually having a major shipping delay because they had a series of boxes that were leaking red liquid. And they had to take them back and then change the item. So, I'm assuming some people got a different item than I did, because I'm probably inside the, like, the second batch. But let's take a look to see what's inside here. I think, what was it, dystopia, was it, for this round around? Let's see. Right. Oh, keep it deadly. We've got another one of those. Let me see. Is there actually anything to symbolize what's on the inside of it? Nah. We got a t-shirt anyway, though. So we're going out to the wine! How's it going, folks? What's the crack? It's nice to see you again. Thanks for coming back to Pastation Skin. We enjoy having you here. I'm glad that you're back. But we're going to take a look and see what inside this crate. Uh, last month, last week's Loot Gaming, or not Loot Gaming, Loot DX was really disappointing and uh, upset me to no end because uh, it's, it's the more expensive crate not being that entertaining. If this crate turns out to be much better, then Loot Crate are actually on the right path. So what have we got here? <laughs> nice. Okay, is that the back or the front? So, on the front of the shirt, we have this. Look at that happy little sun right there. Look at that sun. It's a happy little sun. Why is it related to the happy little sun? Because it's this. Hey, bro. Do you even praise? <laughs> Dark souls and demon souls and all the other sides. Uh, essentially, it is a reference to the Dark Souls series. Of course, Dark Souls 3 came out not that long ago. Um, game series I've never been interested in. Uh, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, never. I played Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3 because it was one of the free games on PS Plus. And, I don't know, <laughs> game format-wise, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, you will die again and again and again. Grand. Um, narratively, that's... Uh, it was, it's the reason why it's the games I disliked the most whenever I was growing up as a kid on the Nintendo that you just kind of like you died and died and died and died and died and you persevered and died but then you realized there was not really worth getting to the ending anyway in the case of uh, Dark Souls I have no idea what the ending is I don't know what the lore is like just because that first wall of entry is too high so what we got here it is oversized so I actually need to make sure to change them because if you notice it was pretty damn massive on me there, pre-shrunk, so it's not going to shrink anymore. Cotton polyester blend, simple grey, uh, nice weight on it. Print is pretty vivid and big. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish the back symbol was on the front, and then a larger version of this was on the back. But otherwise, I don't mind that shirt. That's not bad. I uh, probably I would wear this for working out, actually, because <laughs> it's actually the do you even praise? I'd wear this to the gym. Uh, hey, bro. Do you even praise? So yeah, good t-shirt, good start. All right, we're actually in a good start here. So let's see what else we got in here. Oh, well, obviously we can take a look at this thing. What is that? Is that Legend of Zelda dog tags? <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not too bad with that. Um, especially the fact that it's like related to the Dark Link kind of hoodie that we got the last time. I'd, I'd wear that. That's actually not too bad. Okay, hmm. I don't mind that. Uh, although admittedly I'd probably drop the, uh, the metal bits. <laughs> it's actually, the thing is, the more expensive part of this is the bit that has the branding for Nintendo, which is... Oh, well, that makes sense. It actually has the sword on the other side of it, which is not too bad. That's all right. I don't mind that. I'll wear that. What have we got else in here? We have a booklet. What is it? Um, what is this? Oh, right. I know what this is. I recognize it now. It's actually uh, Nathan Drake's uh, book of notes from Uncharted, where you actually kind of like slide all your notes on the inside of it as you're going through it and you can flick through. I like the gold leaf. Is this actually, is this like Drake's, like his uh, forefathers? What do you call him, Drake? Um, notebook, because it's got like a gilded leaf edge, so that's kind of nice. So it's a notebook? I actually really like that one. That's pretty cool. Never have enough notebooks. Constantly ever using them and constantly working my way through them for writing jokes and shit, so... Hell yeah. What else we got in here? Moving on to the next wing, it's the pin. Oh. So the, the pin for this month, is, this isn't Dystopia. Dystopia is the coming month. Meanwhile, this was last month, so this one was Dungeon. Alright, I can get that. It makes sense with the Zelda and with the uh, Dark Souls and with the Uncharted. Uh, that pin looks pretty nice. I actually like the Luke Gaming pins. They, they seem to actually have a really nice design to them. Um, not as garishly bright and cheery. They tend to actually be like almost like uh, memorabilia medallions. And this one's like feels embossed. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. I gotta get a better look at that. There you go. Actually, really, like I'm, I'm the Luke Gaming's really, really growing on me this time around. So, of course, we got a cute but deadly. So I need to find out what the hell this is. Uh, figures and characters I don't recognize. Who is this? Okay, so the last one I got was Sylvanas, 
in the last one of these crates, uh, or last one of these figures. So, hmm, all right, am I going to, should I open it? Yeah, I'm going to open it. In fact, the box is already half torn in this one. Was somebody else trying to find out? Was somebody trying to figure out what was in this? Or is this left over from the last time they did these crates? So, proper full blind box. Um, can't tell what's inside it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Did I get exactly the same thing again? No, I did not! Alright, cool! That's gonna go. Cool. Ooh, woo! Oh, the smell. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. No. That was actually, that went straight up my nose, the smell from the inside of the plastic bags. Um, <laughs> I think that some people probably get high on a little dose of that, but it smelled like a, like, kerosene slash oil of some sort. Right, what is this character? I need to actually grab the box to find out. I think it's a Protoss of some sort, is it? Is that what they are? I like the fact that his head is actually a little bit movable. Alright, let's see. Who is it listed on as the box? Zeratul. Zeratul. Okay. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I am on board with that little figure. Let's see if you can get a proper look at him on the screen. Does it actually have a bit of a pose to it? It's a little bit movable on parts to it, but essentially it is just a wobbly head. Uh, Zeratul. Cute but deadly figure. I like it. Sent you, like, I want to put him up next to the Predator that I have sitting there. It'll actually match pretty well. Nice. Cool. All right. Going to have to take a quick pause here. Hang on. Be right back. So, yeah. Um, camera battery ran out, so I had to switch across there. So, hopefully you didn't notice too much of a change. Ah, uh, sorry. Right. Here we go. Um, Zeratul. That's going up in the figure selection. I think he should probably go next to our Predator for now. But, um, probably join... The um, Sylvanas figure that we actually have sitting on another shelf somewhere else. So, what else have we got inside the crate? Alright, we'll go for this thing here first. It looks like a bandana of some sort. And does look like it's actually... A, a, this is a Game of Thrones reference, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it's actually like... I don't know. It's a flag, flag and banner for somebody. I don't know who. Oh! Oh! <laughs> actually... Yeah, I really do like that. So, you've got Alliance. Motherfucking Horde! <laughs> yes, that's brilliant. I actually like that, that's really, really nice. So it is double stitched, it's actually like um, two pieces of material stitched together to make a single banner. And um, yeah, I really, really, really like that. In fact, do you know what that's probably gonna end up being? I think that's actually gonna be like a window cover to actually like block out some extra light that I get during the days here whenever I'm recording. Like that a lot. Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. I'm on board with that. I like that. That's actually a nice. That's a nice little, um, well-designed piece of textile. Rather than having a piece of paper poster, this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm on board. I like that. I really like that. Cool. <laughs> this has actually been a really good box so far. So moving on to whatever that's inside this blind box. We got something inside a sealed black box. Now, why have I got a feeling this is the thing that was probably? Blood filled, but is no longer. What is in this? Oh yeah, <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot. Cool. Check this out. It is essentially like a very jam jar doom bottle. I. Why have I got a feeling that this was the actual thing filled with blood? That they actually like literally had a sealed bottle of. Demon blood <laughs> inside these things. Because that would be fucking hilarious. And then they had to actually go, oh shit, well, we already have all the glass done. We've already printed on all of them. Um, well, we can't put a sealed container inside these boxes. So uh, chop the lids off and take that and separate them and just turn them into like a jam jar drinking glass. I am looking forward to drinking out of this. That is actually really, really nice. This is my new soft drink receptacle. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you know what? I'm really, really pleased with uh, the loot gathering of this month. That's actually pretty cool. So let's see, is there anything else in the box I'm missing out? No, not at the moment. So we're just going to take a look at the yeah, the manual that they have for loot gaming. So uh, exclusive deck for Word Gush for Dungeon. Of course, the same as usual. They um, have that online for removal. Or on for online for download. <laughs> removal. They probably only have it up for a short period of time. Uh, Warcraft flag with um, eyelets. Yeah, it's pointing out the details of it. Celebrity cam cameos in World of Warcraft. Ah, oh, right. So little Easter eggs of characters. Uh, ba -ba -ba. People asking questions about D&D. 
Uh, but direct from the 2016 Halo World Championships. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Uncharted Journal. Legend of Zelda dog tags. Of course, of course we quiz questions. Then the t-shirt. Oh, and what's this? Let's see. Um, coin pin. Is there anything special that comes with that? Nope. Oh, right. So the E3 Epic Drop, 20 lucky winners would have received uh, a consumer pass to E3 2016. So because I only received this after E3 arrived, that's a bit fucked. <laughs> I mean, especially um, tickets to E3, that would have had to include airfare and hotel and stuff for people who were going to be going. So that would have been interesting if they'd actually like given that to anybody outside of the United States. And then the other item was, of course, a Doom Epic Drop, which was a reverse statue with a copy of the Legendary Edition of Doom. But I'm assuming that's Doom with the, the all the DLC passes to, meant to be coming. 12-inch tall statue of the Revenant, metal case, and Doom multiplayer pack. Yeah. So, wow. Um, this was actually a really good crit. I'm not even going to bitch and moan about uh, the prizes that were for the Epic or for the really other uh, droppable stuff, because this was actually... Um, I'm, I'm pleased with, uh, with uh, Loot Gaming's box for this month that's that was actually a really good box all in uh, even the figures which uh, the cupid deadly i have one of those already because of um receiving it in a previous crate i think it was for legend or something which um seemed a little all i think maybe for legendary which was like the history of video games kind of one i don't know if that was actually was that loot gaming or was that actually normal crate i think that was a loot normal crate that's the problem with getting all these crates now delivered i'm actually starting to lose track of which ones were which whenever they actually all have similar themes but the uh Look, Gaming had issues whenever it started off. I mean, I was really, really displeased with its first crit. Uh, I'm happy with this one, even though it's obviously... They, they've, they've had problems logistically with it, with what they plan to do. And I think that's what that was. I think this was meant to be a jar of demon blood. Um, or something in its vein, like a, a, like a vial of demon blood or something that actually bri broke and bled out. Um, in this case, I'm happy with the glass just as it arrived in. So, yeah, look... Gaming, you've, you've done well this month. Uh, the theme of Dungeon was well received and well followed. The game choices were really well done. I mean, that was actually a pretty cool selection. There's a, we've got Warcraft and War, uh, Warcraft and Starcraft and the other Blizzard lunacy in there. We've got Bethesda with our Doom stuff. We actually have uh, Warcraft again with that. We have Uncharted, we have Zelda and we have Dark Souls, eh? that's a good widespread of all the genres that actually deal themselves with dungeons pretty well. This is actually not too bad at all. So, locked up in this chest of happiness and of lunacy was a very, very good crate. I have to say, well done to Loot Crate for this month because Loot Gaming was actually not too bad. Admittedly, really, really, really late. <laughs> I mean, silly late. As in, like, it, I'm, I'm sure whoever was getting the E3 passes, congratulations to you guys. You got them well in time to be able to go and see the show. Uh, but outside of that, the rest of us were waiting for a long time to get this crate. And now they've announced that the Loot Crate DX is going to have a delay this month because of some items issues. So, I don't know. Uh, I can only stay excited and joyful for the time I'm looking at this until the next one arrives and I don't know what the hell's going on with it. So, um, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm hyped for this month. We've got, what, Dystopia? Uh, no, we've already done Unity. I really need to double check all the themes for this month because I know Dystopia is the main create one. But outside of that, I don't know what is actually in our inside our anime, inside our gaming, inside our level up, which is probably Dystopia as well, um, and our Recreate DX and all. So yeah, guys, until the next video, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. I hope you look forward to seeing me again. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all the other things, and share this to anybody you feel like. Obviously, it's unbelievably lit because they were lit with their shit. But uh, I'm glad you actually get to watch it and enjoy it with me anyway. So stay travels, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.